in this video we discuss about symbolic constants a symbolic constant is a name given to values hash defined preprocessor directive is used to create symbolic constants so hash defined is a preprocessor directive next coming to syntax so a symbolic constant is created by using hash defined preprocessor directive hash defined followed by space followed by symbolic constant name followed by value so symbolic constant simply means we assign name to a particular value so that is called a symbolic constant so here name is the symbolic constant and its value becomes value here so whatever value we write here its name becomes symbolic constant so we see some examples hash define max 100 so 100 is the value here and its name is max so whenever in the program we write max it is replaced with the value 100 similarly second example pi is the symbolic constant and its value is 3.141592 so whenever we write pi each and every occurrence of pi in the program is replaced with the, this particular 3.14 value and in the third example true is the symbolic constant and its value is 1 that means whenever we write true in the program it is replaced with the 1 next symbolic constants in general they are written in capital letters so in general we write symbolic constant in capital letters symbolic constants are replaced with their values in preprocessor phase so symbolic constants are replaced with their corresponding values and this uh, replacement is done in the preprocessor phase so the preprocessor phase is done before the compilation phase and the main advantage of uh, symbolic constants is they help in reducing time in writing the programs so we see with an example so i am defining a constant here symbolic constant as defined max 100 and remember here we don't write semicolon in the symbolic constant so max is the symbolic constant and 100 is its 100 is its value so max is the name of the constant value 100 now i try to print max value percentage d max now i run this program so we got output 100 max value is 100 now what is hap what happened here so before the compilation phase in the preprocessor phase max is replaced with 100 so in place of max we got 100 so that's why we got output 100 so this statement is equivalent to in the preprocessor phase this statement is replaced like this printer percentage d in place of max it is replaced with 100 so this is what done in the preprocessor phase so wherever we max is encountered it is replaced with 100 in the preprocessor phase so the preprocessor phase is executed before the compilation phase and we see another example let us say hash define p printf now what i have done here so printf is the value here and the name of this value is p now what happens here in the program instead of writing printf i can directly write p so p so i am writing hello so i run this program so we got output hello so actually in order to print an output we use printf function but here instead of using printf function i used a letter p so even though i used p we got output why because what happened here so whenever we use p here it is replaced with the printf function so in the preprocessor phase this statement becomes printf backslash n hello so this is what happens in the preprocessor phase whenever we write p it encounters with the printf function 
So now what the symbolic constant does here? Whenever symbolic constant occurs in the program, in the preprocessor phase, it is replaced with the, the corresponding characters in the value placer. So if you write max, it is replaced with 100. If you write p, it is replaced with the printf. So this is the purpose of symbolic constants. Now we see the advantage of using symbolic constant here. Okay, let us say, uh, assume we have written an application for uh, admissions in a particular college. Assume that there are total number of seats are 30. And then based on uh, you have written a program, you have written a comparison like this. If seats is equal to, if seats is equal to 30. In this fashion, you have written a comparison. So in another, in another statement, you have written a uh, another comparison where you have used 30 okay likewise you have used 30 so where 30 is the assume that 30 is the total number of seats in the college and you have written application for admission process okay this is fine for uh, first year okay assume that uh, in that particular year total number of seats are 30 now assume that in the second year admissions are increased and total number of seats are increased so total number of seats are increased from 30 to 60 okay now what happened here number of seats in the college increased from 30 to 60 now what we have to do here what we need to change in application in each and every place of 30 you need to go to that particular place and then you need to modify it to 60 now assume that it is written uh, it is occurred for 100 number of times then each and every place you need to change 30 by 60. So, this is a tedious process and also time consuming process. So, this is one solution. You need to go to each and every place and you need to replace 30 with 60. This is one solution, but it is a time consuming process. So, in order to save time, you can use symbolic constant. What we can do here? So, we can define a symbolic constant like hash define, hash define. So maximum number of seats, let us say has defined max, okay, let us say earlier you have written 30, okay, in place of 30, you have to write max, so in each and every place you need to write max, now what happens in the preprocessor phase, each and every occurrence of max is replaced with 30, each and every occurrence of max is replaced with 30. And in the second year, if the number of seats are increased to 60, then there is no need to go to each and every place and to change it to 60. In the preprocessor, uh, sorry, in the symbolic constant place, instead of 30, you give 60. Then automatically, each and every occurrence of max is replaced with 60. So th this will save so much amount of time. So that is the major advantage of symbolic constant. So what we have seen in this example, so we have seen symbolic constant, symbolic constant simply means a name given to a particular value and each and every occurrence of symbolic constant is replaced with the particular given value.